Hello fellow Earth Signs, this is going to be a little bit different compared to what I normally do. Obviously this is not a pick a card reading, this is going to be elemental based. So if you are an Earth Sign, so if you are a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mars, then this is going to be a reading for you specifically for March 2021, just more generalized. If you don't know your birth chart, it's perfectly fine. You don't have to. Wherever you fall under the calendar year, if you fall under, you know, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, then that is your sun sign. So theoretically, you do know part of your birth chart. But I'm going to be doing a layout for a spread very similar to how I do when I book readings for clients. And it's going to be a main spread with the main deck, this one right here. And then I'm going to be doing secondary cards for just more details and then oracle cards as well. And then, of course, doing the dice as usual. So we're going to be seeing here with the first one what is coming in for your March 2021 Earth Signs. Okay, so the whole thing just... Oh, okay. That was actually pretty quick. Okay, so... Um, oh. <laughs> Sorry. P pardon me while I process this for a second. So these cards actually came out earlier when I dropped the deck. These were the only cards that came out and then... I put them back in and I shuffled it all together and they still came out together. So the first one, so your energy specifically Virgos, Leo, Virgos, Capricorns, and Taurus. Wow. We have the Empress with Rhodonite. So I create what I choose naturally and with joy. So you are working on creating specifically, either it could be you know, just specifically in general, you're creating what it is you desire, what it is you're working towards, things like that as well. So. That is your energy that you're working on. The next one is the Queen of Cups with Angel Aura Quartz. I trust my knowing and follow my heart. So I feel like a lot of you, we just entered Pisces season. Um, you know, earth and water is very closely related as terms of the elements go. So I feel like a lot of you are learning more about your emotions, learning how to really work with those emotions and things like that as well. And the third one that came out is the Chariot with Carnelian. I go forward with confidence. So I feel like this one is a little bit more intense, but this one is also a lot about driving forward, being headstrong, being dedicated, being determined. But I feel like for March specifically, it's going to be coming in. It's going to be a little crazy. It's going to be very intense, probably a little bit more than you were hoping March to be, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Definitely a lot of emotions, a lot of love happening and going on. Um, you know, the, the Queen of Cups also knows, she, she, I always say this, she understands about herself enough to know when to put the lid over her own cup and stop giving so much of herself to other people. You can't give from an empty cup. You can't pour from an empty cup, basically. So also for the Earth Signs for March 2021, what is crossing, what is crossing the energy that they have coming in for March? Oop. Oh, we actually only got one card. Surprise. All right, so what is crossing is the Five of Cups with Aquamarine. I will move forward when the time is right. So a lot of you are pretty much doing exactly that. I feel like some of you are kind of stuck, so to speak, in this mindset that you cannot get out of. For some of you, you're really mu you're you're very much like, um, you know, the the things that I've gone through, things that I've been through, whatever have you, is because you know, insert this and that. That's fine. A lot of the times that is also true, but I feel like very specifically, a lot of you are going through some things that you refuse to let go of as well. You're needing to let go. You're needing to, you know, stop focusing on what you've lost and focus on what's still there. So in traditional tarot cards, um, a lot of them have for the five of cups, three of the cups are knocked over and two of the others are are still standing so a lot of the times people represent you know the two of cups there's still someone there that's trying to help you and hold your hand so there is still something to hold on to so then we're going to be seeing how earth signs can uncross themselves how can virgo taurus and capricorn uncross themselves for their march 2021 how can they uncross themselves Ooh. Okay, that one flew out, and also only one card specifically. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles with Malachi. I trust my ideas and my direction. So the Seven of Pentacles is talking about planting the seeds, knowing that you have it going on, know that everything is going to be okay, but also being patient, understanding that your patience is going to help you 
uh, win in the end, basically, because a lot of the time, you know, and, and that's the thing too with like, you know, earth signs, you need to be grounded. You need to, you know, really, you know, metaphorically, but just dig your, your hands and your feet into the soil and just ground yourself. Maybe literally, if you live where it's warm, I have snow on the ground right now, so I can't do that. But, you know, you, you need to just ground yourself and understand that patience is going to help whatever it is, whatever these plans are that you have, it's going to help it win out. So then we're also going to be seeing for Earth signs for March 2021, what's... Um, energy the universe is trying to give you. I'm drop several cards here. Let's try that again. What energy is the universe trying to give Earth signs for March 2021? Oop. Okay. Okay. So... <laughs> The hanged man we have here with selenite. I can see this situation another way. The other one is the eight of pentacles in reverse, which says, that I dedicate myself to what I believe in. So a lot of the times when the eight is upside down, it's because you are, you know, or when it's right side up, you're, uh, you know, being very dedicated and determined. Okay, this is what I can do. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. When it's reverse, paired with the hangman, it's kind of one of those situations where it's like, it's not that you're not confident or anything with what it is you're doing. It's just a factor of the universe is throwing a curveball at you. Very interesting. The universe is giving you a new perspective. It is saying, while you are confident, I love it. While you are, are going towards your goals, I love it. However, I'm going to redirect your goals for a hot minute and I'm going to give you something different. I don't know why and I'm kind of wanting to draw a third card? Question mark? <laughs> okay, so let me just see. Let me, okay, I don't know why I feel the need to do three. Probably because the other side had three as well. So what is some energy the universe is throwing towards the earth signs? for March 2021. Can I get another card, please? Oop, okay, hello. And the other card, oh! <laughs> we have the Knight of Pentacles with Pyrite. I deserve financial security. Of course, yes, absolutely. Also, with this card, um, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving in terms of like, you know, physical movement. Um, the Knights move the slowest, or the Knight of Pentacles moves the slowest out of all of the other Knights, but also the Knight of Pentacles, um, how do I say this one? The Knight of Pentacles is one of those, uh, that you know, the universe gives you the, especially if this is the energy the universe is trying to give you, it's talking about, you know, you need to love yourself. You need to not beat yourself up so much. You need to understand that things that are happening for whatever reason is because these are the things that need to happen. You know, a lot of the time we can get pretty hung up on whatever it is that we're doing because we're just, you know, stuck on that specifically. But I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is popping up because it's saying don't beat yourself up over it when something doesn't go exactly how you thought it would. So we're going to be drawing from secondary deck and seeing, clarifying some things. So I'm going to be clarifying, oops, actually, I lied. I'm going to, I need to draw one more card. <laughs> Try that again. So what is the overall energy? What is the dominant energy? What is the overall energy for March 2021 for these earth signs? Let's see if I can get my thoughts in order here. So, whoop. okay, hello. Is that really just one card? Nope, it's two. Ha, okay. <laughs> oh, you're going to hear me say that a lot in this reading, apparently. So the two cards we have pop out, this is the dominant energy for the month of March. We have Four of Wands with Garnet, Six of Pentacles with Malachite. Four of Wands says, the universe brings all I need to feel blissful. And the Six of Pentacles is, I give and receive for the universe, 
for the universal good, excuse me. So for this being that, this, like this is all about having that balance, that yin and that yang energy, that things are flowing, you know, very well. There's also that, you know, uh, you're helping someone along and they're reciprocating the same type of energy and the four of wands um, some people read this as like the actual twin flame card I feel this is just pure stability this is talking about strength this is talking about being stable this I also read as you know someone coming into your life and helping with that stability and the fact that the six of pentacles is also here you know the you know, someone is, you know, we see things are equal, you know, someone, you're giving someone a specific amount of energy, they're reciprocating that with the same energy, the same fierceness, whatever have you. So I feel like for some of you, there is that energy coming in of things happening with potentially another person. Now that I've spoken that out into the universe, there's that. <laughs> All right, so this empress, why is this empress here? Let's try this again. Why is the empress here? for March 2021 for Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Oop. Oh, cute. So we got the Eight of Pentacles right side up. So, like I said, creating that energy and letting that energy flow, letting it grow, being confident with whatever it is that you're doing and achieving. Seeing why this Queen of Cups is here. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Trying not to drop all of them. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna pull that one. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is clarified with the King of Cups and Justice. So talking about that balance, that duality, the King is is clarifying the Queen. So there is that partnership, there is that relationship happening, there is that um, you know success story with someone else. Basically, it's understanding that the King is going to help the Queen, the Queen will help the King type of situation. I love that it's actually got the balance beams right there. That that whole thing right here just kind of sell, uh, uh, clarifies itself in a way, really. So then, gonna skip, oh, dang it. Okay, come on. Skip. There, okay. So why is the chariot here for March 2021 for Earth signs? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Why is the chariot here? For March 2021, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh, oh. <laughs> strength. The movement and things that are happening is going to cause you to need a lot of strength within yourself. The universe is also trying to give you that strength as well. It is, you know, for this deck specifically, it's a little caribou. A little caribou, those things are massive. But I absolutely love, you know, caribou, deer, reindeer, what have you. They're adorable. Um, so th this is great. This is one of those things where it's like, you know, the, the things that are happening. Carnelian is a stone of creativity. It is a stone of um, just get all that creative energy. If you are uh, feeling like you have writer's block or artist block, I don't know if that's a thing, but like if you feel like you just have a lot of creative ideas, but you don't know how to get it out, meditating with Carnelian can actually help that energy flow through. So with the chariot, things are moving, things are happening, things are changing and creating. And then of course, with the strength, it's going to help you get stronger, but you're also gonna need some strength found within yourself as well, because there's things that are happening, things are gonna be moving forward. So then we're gonna be seeing why the hanged man is there for you guys, seeing why the hanged man is there for earth signs. Why is the hangman here? Oop, oop. So the hangman is with the sun. So things are happening, things are shining brightly. The new perspective is going to kind of, oh my God, I don't remember. Oh God, it's, it's a little critter. Well, again, these guys are kind of huge. From Australia, it's like the biggest rat known to man or something like that. It's like the, those huge chunky guys you see on Facebook all the time, but I don't remember what they're called and I probably wouldn't pronounce it very well either, but he's just like in bliss with this like little, you know, geometric flower behind him. He's just like, this is the life. This is what's up. And this new perspective coming in is pretty much going to be that for you, I feel like. 
Let me see why this Eight of Pentacles is here in reverse, especially because you got it twice. One upside down and one right side up. Oh. Again, that's apparently my word of the day for this flippin' reading is oh. Eight of Pentacles is clarified with the Ace of Swords, needing to cut things away in order to make room for the new. The Eight of Pentacles, like I said, is that, you know, the the universe is changing your direction. The universe is going to help you get rid of shit you don't want anymore, basically. There are things that are happening, things that are changing, things that are moving forward. You are moving forward. March is going to be a, a, a month about, oh my goodness, just, just growth. <laughs> growth is a thing for 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 earth science for for march 2021 now i'm curious y'all got anything planned what y'all got planned let me know in the comments what y'all got planned so why is this knight of pentacles here why is this knight of pentacles here Oop. oh really the hanged one is the hangman for the knight of pentacles so like i was saying with the hanged one with uh, with the knight of pentacles it also pops up like don't don't beat yourself up over it you know be a little bit more gentle with yourself a new perspective is happening i feel like that's something too it's going to like when you stop beating yourself over it you know whatever it was that you were thinking was going to go a certain way and it didn't quite happen you're probably going to get a different perspective on that i really want to draw one more for that why is the knight of pentacles here Oop. why is the knight of pentacles here oh okay same oh that was interesting dropped the cards and they landed right on my foot okay that was a lot of cards too so we're going to try that one more time shall we so why is the knight of pentacles here Why is the Knight of Pentacles? Oh, Pentacles here. Oh. So the Knight of Pentacles is also paired with the Seven. The Seven is talking about being patient, letting things grow, as we said before. So this one is pretty significant. Being patient is going to be um, a theme for March, period, which is something that a lot of people don't want to hear. <laughs> All righty. So we're going to be drawing as well from my Peculiar Fragments deck and seeing what Oracle cards pop out for Earth Signs for March 2021, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. March 2021, what spiritual guidance can we get? What is coming in for Earth Signs for this March 2021? like half shuffling very well because I'm just like looking at the cards out on the table. So what spiritual guidance can we get for Earth Signs for March 2021? What is coming in for March 2021? Oops. Now wait, one more card please. Oh, okay, apparently two more cards. So Virgos, Capricorns, and Taurus. There's three cards. So the first one that came out, which <laughs> I love, coffee. Just as it gives great, yeah, can I read? Just as it gives great energy, coffee is a perfect way to manifest dreams and desires, creativity in every cup. I feel like a lot of it, like I said, there's a lot of growth that's happening for for March for earth signs there's a lot of growth a lot of things happening changing moving forward um a little bit of a manifestation tip if you drink coffee you can use this for tea you can do it for water even though it doesn't necessarily serve a mixing purpose but it's fine um if you stir clockwise and kind of just think about whatever it is you're trying to achieve in your life it helps to draw that in clockwise meaning things are moving forward time is moving forward you're drawing something in towards you and then of course drinking the drink that you just stirred is literally consuming whatever it is you're desiring basically the next one that came out was the timepiece determination and time are your friends there is no need to rush all comes in due time 
Usually I sit here and babble about that one, but I feel like that one was pretty self-explanatory. So I feel like I don't really need to talk about that one too much other than saying that, like I said, don't be so hard on yourself all the time because you don't need to be. And then we have the old key. The key to success and power is in your hands. Unlock the knowledge to your potential. So I feel like a lot of this, like I was saying, is being very confident with whatever it is that you're working towards and desiring things like that that's great that's amazing the universe is not telling you to stop what you're doing but also at the same point in time you're needing to understand that you yourself know when the time is right to move and things like that as well i feel like these help interchangeably as well these help work together I'm gonna be doing the dice as well I'm gonna be getting some letters for earth sign for march 2021 virgo capricorn and taurus oh that's a lot okay and i don't count these i really don't i just put them down r a r okay i don't know why <laughs> that one was a thing but i just needed to put that there i r yeah that's total that's English. Um, dust. Our dust. I are dust. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry. It's just one of those moments that I'm... Boo! I have been uh, mildly hyper today, so I'm trying to tone it back. But, again, uh, R. I R, even though that is not even remotely close to grammatically correct, and it's kind of making me cringe. Oh, God. But... Um, it also is a thing too where, oh, I see star. I want to move that because that makes me cringe less. <laughs> star or stare, you know, or stare. There is stare. You know, if I add the I in there, there is stare as well. But star, star makes me, re you know, think about the star card specifically for tarot and, you know, light and hope at the end of the tunnel. And I do love that because there is a sun card here too. So light and hope at the end of the tunnel. I feel like that is going to be something that will uh, feel more, feel, feel more closely uh, achievable in March for a lot of you earth signs. You'll be able to really see uh, just how close your dreams, wishes, and aspirations are to you. We're going to be seeing with the white dice as well what's coming in. This is something significant for you, but this is definitely going to be a good thing coming into your life. We got one, two, and five. Okay. If I can... <laughs> one, two, and five. That could be honestly anything. Um, I feel like for some of you, it could be, you know, obviously that... Uh, Mm, that adds up to eight. <laughs> and you do get the eight of pentacles twice. So that maybe eight is a number that is going to be significant for you, potentially. I'm going to be, whoops, getting ahead of myself. Going to be rolling the black dice first. And we're going to be seeing, like I said, I usually call these the tower, tower dice. Uh, because it's going to be something that needs to change. There's something in your life that needs to kind of be shaken up a little bit. Got another one. We got a three and a six. And I also do love that because you got the hanged man twice, which is just one person upside down, or in this case, in, in this terms of this card, it's a bird, but there's still someone upside down. So I feel like a lot of things are very like sentimental to you. Like it, I, ooh, where did this even come from? I feel like a lot of things are very sentimental to you. There are things that you feel like you can't get rid of. It causes you to be a mild little bit of a pack rat sometimes, but it's also a factor too that I feel like a lot of things that are coming in, a lot of that is going to help you release a lot of things that you felt in the beginning that you couldn't let go of, but now you really can. So I feel like that could be something too. A lot of you are going through some purge moments and you're just getting rid of a lot of things too. And now we're going to be rolling the red dice. Could be love, whatever have you. Like I said, there's a four of wands there. And there could be some significance playing around with some love for some of you guys too. Two, three, six. Interesting. So two and three. 
is in the other two. It's, you know, we have the, the two up here, we have the three, and then it's down here with the six. And you did get the six of pentacles. You got a three twice, and the dice over here, the lucky dice, has been sitting on a three the entire time. So that's very curious to me. And I'm wondering if threes in general are playing a significant part at all for you guys. Uh, I know me personally, three is a significant number for me in a multitude of my life, a multitude of different aspects. So three is significant for me. So definitely let me know if three is significant for you guys too. Rolling that lucky dice and seeing if there's anything significant for our earth signs for March, 2021. Okay, so we got a four. Ooh, okay, so I was just talking about how the six, we got the six of pentacles, now we got the four. Put you up there. So we got the four as well. I love that. There's definitely a lot of things happening. There's a lot more stability rolling your way for March. There's gonna be some changes, some changes you probably were not maybe expecting. Maybe that's where that Knight of Pentacles comes into play of not beating yourself up over it when things didn't go exactly how you thought it would. But there are definitely going to be things that are coming in for you that are going to help with stability, help with change, help with growth. Growth is the main friggin' thing for you guys for, for March. So that's definitely a good thing. I do love hearing from you guys. Definitely know in the comments below. Like the video. It really does help me as well for that too. Um, I'm still doing my giveaways. So once I reach 500 subscribers, I'm literally like 20 subscribers away. I'm so close. It's so cool. But thank you guys so much for that as well. Once I reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with two of my bigger, <clears throat> two of my bigger candles that I make, and then I'm thinking maybe some artwork, and then um, like a like a pendulum or something like that. I'm not 100% sure exactly what I'm wanting to do, but I am going to be figuring it out. The closer I get to 500 subs, the closer I'm needing to get that figured out. So definitely let me know in the comments if there's anything that you suggest for that as well, and then. Growth is happening for y'all, or signs, in March, okay? So that is really, really good, though. All right, and until next time, y'all, know yourself and know your power.